Let's put together everything now that we've been working on with adding and subtracting, including negative numbers. So, if you are asked to do a calculation like this, your very first step needs to be the following. You need to deal with the brackets. So here we are subtracting a negative, taking away some cold, so obviously we're going to be going up, it's the same as adding. Taking away a negative is the same as adding. Once we've dealt with the brackets, the next step that I always recommend is the following. Decide if your answer is going to be positive or negative. This just helps me not go wrong. So if I have a look here and I think about it, I'm at negative 23 and I'm going to be coming up by 16 steps. Am I going to go beyond the zero? Well, no, I'm not. So I know that my answer is going to be negative. So I make a note for myself of that. And we've done this kind of one plenty of times. We know that this is going to be the same as 16 subtract 23. It's a difference. It's a difference where the answer is negative. What's the difference between 23 and 16? Well, 7 is the answer. So our total answer here is negative 7. Okay, what about one like this? So our step one is always to deal with the brackets. So here we are adding a negative, adding in some cold, things are going to go down, so it is the same as subtracting. And then we go on to step two. And that's just quickly to decide for ourselves whether the answer will be positive or negative. Well, here you're at negative 11 and you're going even further down. You're obviously still going to end up being negative. So we know our answer needs to be negative. And now what we know is we're in that situation where we're negative going down. It's just the same as positive going up, but negative, right? So it's the same as 11 plus 12, which is 23 but it is negative.